This is Angelus TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. Praise the Lord. We are continuing with our wonderful series on the wonderful name of Jesus. Why is this name so wonderful? The name of Jesus is so wonderful because it is the name that Jesus inherited from the Father. And the name that is above all other names of things on earth, things in heaven, things in the past, things present, and things to come. There, there has never been, there will be no other name greater than the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The name of Jesus Christ is, as the scripture tells us in the book of Proverbs, is a strong tower. The righteous run unto it and they are safe. The Bible tells us whoever will call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. So the name of Jesus Christ, as we said in the first class, it is the reason why a sinner accesses the presence of God. Because if a sinner goes to God in the name of Jesus, that sinner is received. And when that sinner repents, that sinner is forgiven. The name of Jesus gives a sinner access into the very, very presence of God. The only way a sinner can approach God and come to God is when he does so in the name of Jesus. And now today, I want us to look at the early church and how they used the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. So I want us to turn to the book of Acts of the Apostles and this book of Acts of the Apostles, you can also call it the book of the Acts of the Holy Spirit among believers. Because if there is a book in the Bible that we are still living in, is the book of the Acts. The Acts of the Holy Spirit among believers. So I want us to read and see what the believers did. Remember before Jesus left he said you guys haven't asked anything of, from me yet ask my father anything in my name and it shall be given you so that your joy may be complete so let us read verse 1 of the book of Acts chapter 3 onwards now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms from those who entered the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for alms. And fixing his eyes on him with John, Peter said, look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Arise and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. So he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. And all the people who saw him walking and praising God then they knew that it was he who sat begging alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened.
to him. So the name of Jesus Christ is a miracle working name. In this name, we receive miracles. Now look, this is Apostle Peter and Apostle John. Jesus has been taken back to heaven. And Peter and John and other 120 disciples had received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And now guess, look at what happens. They go to the temple for prayer. And I think Peter remembered what Jesus told them. He said, in my name, you will cast out devils. You will heal the sick in my name. Friend, I want you to understand this. The reason why the early church walked in the miracles is because they followed the instructions of Jesus Christ. What did Jesus say? When you pray in my name, not just prayer, it has got to be in the name of Jesus Christ. We go to the Father in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. So Peter looking straight at the man, he says, hey, silver and gold have I none. But such that I have, I'm going to give you. I have a name. I have power in the name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise and walk. And the man leaped up and walked. And great was the celebration in the entire city of Jerusalem. Because a lame man has regained strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Friend, there are so many things in your life that need to be fixed. You might have tried to come up with solutions to so many things and you have failed. I want you to examine your prayer life. I want you to examine what you have been doing, whether you have been doing it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ or in your own name or in your own power. Remember, my friend, our own works and our own righteousness is like filth rags before the Lord. Peter healed the lame man who was born lame from his mother's womb using the name of Jesus. He says, when you ask anything from my father in my name, what is the name? Jesus is the name. If you ask anything in my name, it's like Christ appearing before the Father and asking the Father what he wants. And the Father will always grant his son whatever he asks. And friend, you are a son of God. Jesus has given you the right to use his name. This is a privilege that the kings of this world don't have. It's only you who have got this authority and privilege of using the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, arise and walk. I want you to speak to your condition. This condition that has experienced death and impairment right from inception, from birth. I want you to speak life to that project of yours. I want you to speak life in that business of yours. In the name of Jesus Christ and speak these words with faith and begin to experience the miraculous of God. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. We give you praise and glory for who you are and for the great thing that you have done in our lives. I thank you that, Lord, your spirit and your presence is here with us to strengthen us and to keep us from the hour of temptation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this broadcast. For more of such uplifting Christian content, please click subscribe. Click the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another broadcast. Thank you and God bless you.